Hello, my name is Andrew Grant and today I'd like to show you how to create an advanced search in Finder and save that search so it can be run easily in the future. Recently I was asked how to find all Microsoft Word documents in a specific folder structure and delete all the documents that were found that were six months old or older. To do this we selected the folder we'd like to search within. In this case I'm going to choose Knowledge Base. And we started by opening up the search window as something generic like a dot. I wanted to make sure the search was run only in the folder I selected, not in the entire system, and that I was searching for file names, not contents within files. I then selected the plus button to go ahead and find the creation date that is before six months older. So we're going to say 5-6-2009 since today is November 6th. You can also go so far as to say kind is document. This will get rid of folders. And you can also go ahead and choose to search for .doc as the name or you can come down here and select file extension is DOC. Now you can see after all of this we found 19 items. At this point I wanted to save the search so I selected the save button and I named the search DOC six months old. And I make sure this checkbox here add to sidebar is checked that allows the search to be placed in the sidebar. So we select Save, and I already have a search name this, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Now what's happened is that search shows up here in my sidebar. Now in the future, I can go ahead and do whatever I want to be anywhere in my system, and go ahead and select this search right here, one click, and the search is instantly run with the criteria that I had when I created it. Now two things occur to me. One is I would like to change some of the criteria down the road. So to do that you select the gear button and you select the option to show search criteria. When you do that everything that you searched for shows up. At this point you can change the date or any of the options. Add more, delete some and your search will be run. The only downside that I see is instead of seeing what folder you searched in it shows you doc six months old dot save search but if you hold your mouse over for a few seconds you can see it's searching in knowledge base folder so it does tell you it just doesn't display it without mousing over. The other thing I've noticed is I have to click file name here and because uh, it reverted back to contents so you might have to play with this a little. The other question arose how do I delete these searches out of my sidebar if I build up a whole bunch of them and they're in my way? Two options. One you can simply minimize that search for option so they are out of your way or the second option is you can actually get rid of them by right clicking on the sidebar and selecting the option to remove from sidebar. Now I've never tried the open and closing folder but I'm assuming that it's going to pop open the folder, yes it does, that the searches are saved in and then you can individually delete those searches. So that's another option to, to permanently get rid of them off of your system. But be aware that it is going into your home library save searches folder and that if you're not sure what you're doing in here definitely don't delete things that uh, are not specifically the searches you created. So there you have it. This is how to create an advanced search, how to save that search, call it up in the future and modify the search criteria, and how to remove the save searches from your system entirely.